Today on Suburban Sill, we're going to be looking at succulent propagation, this time talking about the Cullencoe tomentosa, but I'm actually going to kind of talk about this entire arrangement. I got this as a gift. It was a centerpiece at a wedding. I actually got two. I wasn't at the wedding, but they were given to me by my mother-in-law, and I absolutely love the jade in this um, arrangement, and I've noticed um, a mealy bug or two, and I've also noticed that um, some of the leaves are looking a little yellow, and it's not looking not looking real hot. So I'm gonna I want to get it out of this pot. It's been in here for over a year and a half, and so I think it's time to um, kind of maybe break this arrangement up and um, get the jade into a new home. Um, it's looking a little yellow. My other jade. Um, has more of a dark green look. It looks much healthier. They're in different windows, um, but they face the same direction. So I'm not totally sure what's going on. The soil's dry, even though some of the and some of the leaves look, I don't know, like maybe they need water. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna dig it out and uh, we're going to kind of give this arrangement a refresh and see if I can't bring this jade back to health. So I've decided for the tomentosa, I'm just going to propagate it with a stem cutting. Um, I recommend wearing gloves. These little um, fuzzy leaves, I don't know, they make me itch. So my scissors have been treated with some uh, rubbing alcohol and I'm just gonna behead it. It's so pretty, but it's really leggy and long and it's got these crazy, um, aerial roots going on it, so I think um, the best way to do it is just cut it off at the head. So let's just give it a whack. Oh, that's not a very good clean cut. I will probably try and fix that. You can also root these by leaf cuttings um, so I may try, I haven't had much luck with the leaf, but I may pull these off and um, maybe try to get a couple more from the leaf cutting. Just kind of pop that off like that and see what happens. But this should root up nicely in um, just some potting soil. You'll let the stem dry out and I'm going to See if I can't make that a little bit straighter. There, it's a little better. And uh, actually I've got two, so I'm gonna cut this one off too. Boop. We'll just put those in a little pot and let those root up. So let these leaves dry out and um, see if we can't propagate a little more. So now there's the question of this Aeonium, which if you follow my blog, you might have seen um, me rescue this Aeonium originally. And to be quite honest, it's not looking that great as is right now. Um, so these are also really easy to propagate. Um, it's got this crazy long stem. <laughs> Look at that thing. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm also just going to cut that off. And um, I'll probably propagate that uh, as well. So. Whack. That stem, got a little, little pup there on the side. I may try to clean up that jagged edge too. All right, now it's time to remove some of these remains. Thank you. 
So now it's just me and my jade, and so I've got some problems. I've got some kind of like fungus. Um, I've got some possible underwatering, maybe overwatering. Uh, so I don't know. We'll have to see if this can be rectified. I mean, it's pretty dry. touch it with my real hands, with my bare hands. You know what, it is a little moist. It is a little moist. I'll have to look back and see when the last time I watered it was. Well, that's okay. Because we're going to put, um, we're going to center it here and we're going to put some dry soil in there and hopefully we'll um, be able to maybe save it. We're going to lose some leaves. That's just how it's going to go, but um, might be able to rectify the problem with some new soil. That's my hope. It'll take a while to see what the outcome will be, and um, we'll come back and do an update. The other thing I'm gonna do is that I might give it a little spray with um, an antifungal, some like Von Neem antifungal, and um, just kind of see what that does. Also, because I did see a mealybug crawling around, um, which those things do not scare me anymore. They're no match for me. But that's where we're going to start. All right. Until next time, let's see what happens. It's been 20 days since I beheaded my tomentosa. And here's some of the leaves that I was able to save. Now, I know I said I don't have any good luck with this, but it looks like I'm getting some little roots. And I think the difference is what a lot of times I'll spray my prop trays. And I decided not to spray this one at all. And I think that that makes a big difference with the tomentosa, because um, I was noticing before my leaves would curl up and kind of rot. So just take that or leave it. So here is the head of the tomentosa. Yeah, I just want to see. Oh, according to the pull test, it looks like they're kind of in there. Oh, this one's going to come up. And see, you can see the beginning of those little white roots poking through. So it looks like this is rooting up fairly nice. I'm gonna stick back in there. So just like any regular succulent watering, I just water this when it's dry and it sits in a nice bright window. That's fun. And now for this Aeonium. Um, you know, it's Aeoniums are, um, their growing season is in winter, not so much summer, and they don't really like direct light. And as of right now, it doesn't really seem like 
much is happening with that one. Still firm, so I don't think we have any rot going on yet. But um, I'm going to keep my eye on that one. And we'll have to see how it goes. So it looks like at least I'm going to have some great um, Kalankoe tomentosa um, little plantlets starting up here soon. So that's good news. Now for a quick look at my jade. So the coloring on the jade is improved. It's not as yellow. I have lost some leaves as I knew I would and I'm gonna lose a few more. So I've been spraying it with a antifungal um, as well as a like neem oil type insecticide to help with the mealybugs and I don't know, I noticed what might be some spider mites. So we're definitely not in the clear, but the coloring is looking better. And the other leaves look pretty healthy. So the success of this jade is yet to be seen, but we will keep at it and hope for the best. So it's been about three weeks since my last check-in and um, the Kalankoe tomentosa is looking super cute. I've got two cuttings in there that are doing really well um, and I'm really excited about this um, propagation. Um, also on that same token, here are my props again. Um, also doing really well, starting to get little, little buds on them. Um, rooting up really nice and like I said before I don't always have the best of luck oh look that one's got one there too in propagating these for some reason so either the last time I did it the succulent had some problems or the leaves were bad or or I kept the soil too moist um, I don't know but success there so here is the Aeonium sunburst that when I last checked um, didn't have any roots yet, hadn't rooted yet. So uh, I just kind of want to do a little check and see if anything is happening. Ooh, I don't know, nothing's really happening. And in fact, it looks like, I don't know, it might even be getting some root rot, that dark color there doesn't look promising. So no roots, really. So I don't know, this one might be a fail and that's too bad, but can't win them all, right? So we'll just keep you in there and see what happens. I have rooted aeoniums before. I have done aeonium propagation before with no problem, so. I definitely, I think I'm gonna keep this dry. I'm not gonna water it because it looked like the, the looked like that root was looking a little, little suspect, but, so we'll just keep that in, this, in a sunny spot and see what happens. Um, now for my jade. So here's a little look at the jade. Um, not much new to report, it's still doing well. Um, we're still losing some leaves, but like this leaf um, was sick anyway, just kind of like this one is also, and I'm sure will eventually fall. I'm gonna keep treating it with an antifungal and keep kind of minimizing its water. And I'm just gonna have to keep watching it. But so far, I mean, it's still doing okay. It's still a beautiful jade ovata, or chrysula ovata, I should say. So um, we'll 
we'll just keep working on on this one but that's it for this succulent refresh um, thanks for checking out my video I hope that you learned some new um, propagation tips I hope I don't know I hope my Aeonium bounces back, but it's hard to say, and that's okay. Not everything is a success all the time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more um, fun propagation tips and techniques. And uh, check out my website at suburbansill.com where I'll be posting um, other plant fun facts and plant tips, um, as well as my new series, Out and About. So thanks for checking out Suburban Sill, and uh, we'll see you next time.